Hi there, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the concept of uh, transparency and I'm going to use GIMP for that. So um, here you have a picture and let's imagine that you would like to somehow merge two pictures and add another one on this one. But uh, you don't want actually this to look like, uh, like two pictures, but really like the fact that one is within the other. So um in order to do so um you will be tempted to just uh, open the other image and put it on this one so let's uh look how it looks like so you can just go over here on file and then just click on uh, open as a new layer and then uh, you select the one that uh, that you want so for example here this uh, picture as you can see i can maybe um make it a bit bigger so let's like this, okay, okay. And as you can see here, I look kind of ugly because you always get, in fact, this uh, white uh, background over here. And here it comes, in fact, the concept of uh, transparency is that uh, by default, um, when you when you save an image, uh, it will get, of course, a background, and you can decide if uh, you would like this background. Uh, to have no background so here for example the background by default is white but you can decide uh, to have no background which will uh, result in, in transparency um, so how can you get uh, this transparency well in fact you need to remove uh, the pixels uh, which are here in the background um, here as you can see uh, if i'm using for example the magic wand uh, it's not going to be like 100 percent perfect because i will still get in fact as you can see, uh, a layer of white, and I still get the one which is uh, in the background over here. So, um, in fact, you should uh, remove the, the background prior uh, to put it on the, the image. And of course, uh, it may take uh, a bit of time. And as well, there are some additional techniques that you can use in order to remove those, uh, including, of course, using what we call a green screen, but uh, that's not going to be uh, the purpose of today. The purpose of today is just to explain you how you can get uh, the transparency part. So when you create an image for the first time, when you click over here on file and new image, it's going to ask you, so I'm just going to remove this zero, it's going to ask you uh, over here, what is the background color that you like to get? So here by default, uh, in Gibbs are asking you, okay, you're going to fill it with the uh, first uh, color, the one of the foreground or the one of the background, or it's going to be a white color, or it can be uh, transparent. And if you select transparent and you just click on validate, you will see that you will get those square things. And those square things means that actually uh, you are dealing with something which is transparent. So to say, if I just uh, write, for example, here, like plus marketing school, marketing and that and that I take actually this uh, this given uh, let's say I can make it as a full picture uh, if I take this parts out and if I copy it on this one you will see that it will consider the um, the transparency so if I just go over here and I click on kind of export and say like okay title title um, so one thing when you use um, transparency, always have your file in .png. Okay, if you do it in .jpeg, it's gonna uh, delete it. I um, mean, it's gonna put some white. So here, for example, if I just open it like this, and if I put like my title, I will get, in fact, my my Floss Marketing School within uh, as within the page. Okay. Would that have been the case if I would have made um, a JPEG out of it? I can just make a, like a second demo out of it and get this. Uh, if I would have kept the transparency part and if I would have created a JPEG out of it like this. Hey, you. Just gonna put it. Oops. Hey, you. Just gonna put it bigger. Okay, so let's imagine that this, I would have saved it as, uh, as a JPEG, JPEG. Okay, and uh, 
that I would have added like this. Oops. As you can see, uh, the white background um, would have been uh, left here. So, uh, so to say, when you select one picture that you would like to merge with another one, always uh, double check that it supports uh, transparency. So. Here, for example, I added the white background on my own, but here, for example, that's the example of a good picture when where you download it, as you can see, you will get those uh, this uh, transparency in the in the background, which is really neat because when you want, uh, so I can download it back. Um, so when you want to include it somewhere, so we're just gonna remove this this one. Let's imagine that I want to add my van back over here. If I just click uh, like this and if I open it as... Yes, so which one was it? The one downloaded at... Um, yep. hmm, kind of funny, seems that it didn't... Uh, we didn't took it anyway. Um, just gonna save it back. Sorry for that. Okay, download. Oops. Ah, okay, that's because I select open instead of download. So, and yeah, download. And now you will see that it will look good. as it were on the picture. And that's uh, everything that I wanted to show you today. So uh, if you want actually to make a picture like having the feeling that it's within uh, the image, always look for images on which uh, you have the transparency on. And of course uh, you can uh, get your transparency. I didn't show you that, I should have uh, showed it to you. Uh, so. If you want to get transparency, so let's uh, let's take this picture. You have several ways uh, that you can uh, that you can do it. So probably the best way is just to have like your transparency here uh, down down below, and as a result, um, you can in fact use the different methods which are over here. So you can use the magic one. And uh, with the magic one, it will recognize automatically the uh, color, which look the same. And you can, of course, uh, set the threshold. So when uh, you select this one, you can just select the threshold like this. But as you can see here, if your threshold is too high, well, it's gonna remove more than it's supposed to uh, remove. So you can always try to find which threshold is the best. Okay. Or you can even look differently uh, with other features such as the one uh, to select the, the color. So for example, this one helps you select just one kind of color and remove it entirely from uh, everywhere. Or you can, of course, uh, make it uh, one by one by just uh, selecting the part uh, that you would like to get uh, rid of. Uh, you could, of course, uh, cut it. You could, of course, uh, define um, a selection area uh, and so on and so forth. So there are many different ways uh, that you can uh, that you can do it. You can even use like this the, the rubber to get uh, rid of those. And that's everything that I wanted to show you for today. Thanks for watching.